Today's Science Minute Challenge, how to keep the water in the bottle if you turn the bottle upside down. I know the answer is don't turn the bottle upside down, but that's not the challenge. How can I turn the water out of the bottle upside down? Well, of course I could put a cork in there, but I'm gonna say you can't do that. The only materials that you have is a piece of screen. That's not gonna help because water goes through the screen with no problem at all. And a rubber band, nothing at all. Well, believe it or not, this is exactly what you need. Look, you're gonna take the screen material. I found this netting material at the store, a bag of onions or something, a produce came in it, and I'm gonna take it like this and pour, put this over the top. So I'm going to lock it in place with the rubber band like this. Got it? So now, if you take a look, the water still can come out, but now you say, watch, here's the hand, the hand's on top, upside down, and... I know, it's totally cool. The water stays there, why? Because the water molecules hook onto other water molecules and as they do, they form a seal right there in the little netting material. Now, you can do this. You could take a toothpick, for example, and put the toothpick in and very carefully put it in so you don't lose a lot of the water. Look at this and toothpick floats to the top, why? Because the water molecules seal around it, form this little seal, oops, form this little seal and it goes right to, how awesome is that? If the air sneaks in, look at that, the water comes out. So don't tip it, keep it like this. You get to show the properties of water. Adhesion, water molecules hooking onto this, but water molecules hooking onto other water molecules, we call it hydrogen bonding. It's a perfect way to be able to fool your friends. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your Science Minute.